Hi guys! Welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today I have part two of the New Crest Zen Spa for you. Um, and this is the more interior design side. This is where things start to be a bit more exciting and everything starts to look good or better anyway than in the first episode where it was just mainly building really um, and adding some stuff. But yeah, this is the definitely the more fun stuff. For me personally, I much prefer interior design than the actual building stuff on Sims. It's just, it's just my fave, you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yes, this is a spa, as we can tell. Um, and it's just, it's very, it's modern, but it's quite cosy, I think. It's using the spa pack, game pack, stuff pack, whatever pack it is. Um, and it's awesome. It's so nice. Such just such good items. Like, this is the pack I've been most excited about, definitely. And, uh, yeah. So this is just the massage room. Um, I, I honestly can't remember what I spoke <laughs> in the last video, but this, uh, massage room is, uh, for two people because, you know, people like getting massaged together. I'm not entirely sure why, but, you know, they do. So I'm not going to question it. <laughs> You know, um, I personally hate massages. They are just not what I'm all about as a person. I hate them. They are painful and unnecessary. Um, and <laughs> I know a lot of people that I've told that are just like, what? But nope, no, thank you. Uh, I just, I'm not. It's just, I just, I don't know. I don't like them. Okay. So yeah, I kind of went with a pretty simple theme throughout the whole build quite neutral colours. I, I didn't want it to be like too like boring though so I did add colours in which really just make it more modern for me personally like I I because I I think style has moved on where modern used to be very much like white and just a lot of plain colours and not you know very minimalistic but I think more more so now especially with like Scandinavian interior it's, you know, you can get away with a lot more colour and and still look uh, modern and, I don't know, I, I was going to say chic, but I'm, I've literally never said that word in my life, so. <laughs> um, so, you know, it just looks a lot, it looks more modern and, and homely, it's a, a lot more comfortable and that is what I am all about as a person, personally. So this is the hot tub room, I'm still not entirely sure what this is supposed to be, but I, um, because before I built this, I put in the, what's called the perfect balance bar, spa, I can't remember, it's the, it's one of the spas that, um, the Sims, like, pre-made for us, and I looked through that just to see what, you know, you need in a spa, and they had this room that was, like, two hot tubs, so I, I, or two baths, so I suppose they're kind of like those spa baths that I really want to have one day, because, it just seems like a nice thing to have. Because I don't like massages, but mm, girl, hot tubs. They are my jam. I love them. Um, so yeah, on to the roofing. Because I always go for this just like outlined fancy situation on the roof. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna spread my wings. And I never do roofing. Like I just never I I just I'm not very good at it, but I was like, do you know what? We can do this. And I did some roofing that I'm actually proud of. Like I'm actually very happy with how it turned out. So yeah, I'm I'm a happy bunny. Um I it really adds to the to the um to the build. It makes it look so much nicer and so much sort of more finished and it just it just makes it look so much more I don't want to say like professional. <laughs> But it just it just it just adds something to the build that makes it just look finished and it looks like a nice building to go to. It looks quite appealing to my eyes personally. Um, and then I added kind of like a grass top. I don't know when I do that, but um, I do, and I think I think it looks really good. Probably the best roofing I've done. Um, although I did another series that I am currently filming at the minute. Um, which is the apartments that I've not posted anything up yet because, uh, long story. And um, I did some pretty good roofing on that actually. So I don't know, not to brag or anything, but <laughs> bit of a roofing expo over here. 
but not really at all because it's so so bad at roofing usually. Um, and yeah, I, I I can never figure out what roof tiles to have because I I can never figure out what looks good. So I I think I stay with this black and then I did like a grey border because it's nice. It makes it sort of all flow together. You know, guys, flow together at the spa. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> um, then uh, yeah, I put some windows in because I really did this in a really strange order. Like usually I'll. I'll do the outside of the house, then I'll do windows and stairs and doors, and then I'll do the inside of the house, uh, the layout, and then I will, you know, design it according, like, the interiors according to the exteriors. But I really didn't do that with this house, um, with this build, and I think that's how it came out looking as good as it does. Personally, oh, I mean, in my opinion, it's one of the better builds that I've done. And, um... I think that's that, that's just what you need to do a lot of the time it's just kind of mix it up a bit um i kind of just built it and did it as i saw fit and as i think looked good so i mean not to brag or anything just got a cheeky pause here why do i do this every single time i'm editing and i'm like scouring through all of the like footage and i'm like right there's no pauses there's no time where i want went to go and get a drink or something and then this happens and I'm just like how did I miss this I mean it should be over in a sec but it's so annoying because I literally spent so long trying to edit these videos and then it's just like why why am I so thick <laughs> anyway uh sorry about that um but I'm it's just the way I am it's the way <laughs> it's the way these videos go uh I'm afraid Anyway, however, moving on, we are starting on the bathrooms now. Um, I made them more like shower, <clears throat> shower rooms. All oh, my voice has just gone very croaky all of a sudden. Does it sound sexy? No, not at all. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and um, yeah, so I made these more like shower rooms, so you can just go in there and have a shower and get changed, uh, go to the toilet and then come out and wash your hands. Um, I just thought that made it nicer i just i really just prefer the idea than having like loads of separate bathrooms if that makes sense and then like separate changing area just if you just put it all in one it works well um and the logic behind the walling uh the walling the uh wall covering i guess is i put tiles on the walls this is in the separate bathrooms not necessarily in the sink area but in the toilet slash shower rooms what I did was the uh, tiling, I, the logic was that I put tiles on rooms that I figured might get splashed for whatever reason or just like water go. I mean, realistically, you'd have tiles on all walls, but I think those tiles are so dark, it makes the rooms look smaller and it's just, it's not as nice. It makes it look more dark and just like, just like cramped and not so good. So that's the logic that I went for um, and I tried to make all the bathrooms a little bit different so they weren't all like the exact same thing I just I just thought that might be a nice idea um, and yeah I put these lights in that are really really nice I believe they came in the I'm, I think they came in the spa pack um, yeah I think they did but um, yeah I just I decided to put a um, just a separate toilet in here because you know, you might not need a shower, just need to go to the toilet, get get changed. Um, and there was just like a huge amount of space left over in that room. So I was like, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put in another toilet. And um, it just, it makes it like smaller, a little bit more cramped. But I still think it works. And I still think, you know, it, it's justified and it, it looks okay. So yeah. Then I put some lockers back here as well because, um, in this room, because... You just can't have enough lockers, quite frankly, you know, to lock all of the belongings in. Um, and, you know, that's just, that's just, that was just my logic. <laughs> um, and it, yeah, it just fills up the space rather than having just like a big old space for no particular reason. I could have put like a bench there or something or seating, which probably would make more sense. But obviously we didn't just do, we didn't want to do that when uh, I... Uh, did this so yeah just working a little bit on the front entrance um I kind of wish I'd made it more 
I don't know, exciting than it turns out to be, but I, I still think it's nice. It's quite small and, you know, it's not like you spend a huge amount of time there, even though it is like the first impression you get when you walk in somewhere. I just, I wish I had, I don't know, added something else to it, but what can we do now, ladies and gents? What can we do now? Well, we could change it, but no, we're not, we're not doing that. Not, not today. Um, <laughs> you never know, one day I might do a renovation of this build. Probably not, but I might do. You don't know my life. Um, and then I figured these arrows in my mind have like signs on them say this way for manic manicure, pedicure, this way for uh, massage, this way for meditation, this way for yoga. That was that was the logic, so that's what I did. And I think it makes it look more realistic in a way. I think it makes it more kind of you know, because you have signs in like hotels and whatever anyway, so I was just like, this is what we're gonna do. And we'll just pretend that they have writing on or above or below, you know, uh, because, you know, well, that's just what we'll have to do. You know what I'm saying? This room, um, I used, I wanted to use those tiles that I put in, those like long ones, long thin ones. I, have a, I'm not sure how I feel about those tiles, to be honest. I think they can look really, really good. I just think it's difficult to make them work. Um, so, I mean, I like that little area, but I, I kind of wish that the tiles weren't so busy, if they were like less colors or a little bit more neutral. Or, I don't know, I, I like them, but I think personally, if we had like the tool to color them ourselves, ooh, sorry yawnsman um if, if we had the opportunity to color them ourselves i would just dial it down a little bit having said that they are still nice so <laughs> um i decided to make most of the hallways and stuff at this purple color i just think it's i think i said this in the last video i just find it to be kind of cozy and nice and it's just a rich color and that is what i like um, so we are, I'm talking a lot about my choices and decisions I made in this video, which is good because I always end up talking about something random, like, I don't know, like flowers or some sort of really just inappropriate thing that just doesn't make any sense to the video. So, you know, making a nice uh, change, positive change to my videos, um, yes. Um, I, I use these rugs. I, I probably overused them, um, not this one that I'm using, sort of doing now, but the uh, ones with the patterns, you can find them in Ikea, this, those, like, oh my god, stop moving, oh my goodness, um, anyway, I used a lot of the same rugs, um, and I think they're really nice, that green one, the brown, the blue one, and yeah, I just, I just like them, I do those, oh, what I like, and some grass. If anyone, if literally anyone knows what I just said, apart from Jess, then I would be, I'd be very impressed and also very happy. It would make me very happy, but I highly doubt it because it's very obscure. Anyway, so moving on. Um, the stair area. Oh my gosh, stop yawning. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I don't know what it is. Every, I'm like, I am not tired at all, but every time I come to make a video, I'm always like yawning and I don't, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell but sometimes my voice goes a little bit like this and that means <laughs> that's when I'm like yawning but I'm like trying to not tell show it to you guys <laughs> so um that's what that is um so I'm sorry if I'm like <laughs> sending everyone to sleep or people are like this is so unprofessional and um, disgusting how dare you um sorry but uh it's i i tried to make these voiceovers sort of as, as real as possible and this is just what i'm like i i have i don't know what it is oh my god i'm yawning again oh, I, oh, i don't know what it is like when i start yawning i have these like yawning fits where i literally won't be able to stop yawning and i won't be tired it's just like I just keep doing it. I get infected with the yawning bug. I don't know. <laughs> Does anyone else get that? Like, I, I'm, I swear I'm the only one, but it's, I'm just so unique and, um, yeah. But no, I, I, I just, I don't know anyone else who that happens to, but I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe it happens to you. I can't, I just don't know. Um, so yeah, just kind of trying to add final touches, make a lot of the rooms are kind of blank and white and, and they're a little bit boring. So I tried to mix it up a bit with these different wall colors and patterns and put some lighting fixtures up. 
Um, adding some plants is always a good idea. These um, files are like my favourite item in the whole game. I'm not even joking. I think they're so cool. I, I just really like them. Um, and I, I put in like uh, chairs here because it can kind of be like a waiting area type thing or, you know, if... I know you're waiting for someone or waiting for an appointment. I don't, I don't know. Just sit down and have a have a rest those little legs. Let them chill for a moment. Why don't you? And I thought I'd put a notice board up because I don't know. It's because it's, it's a community lot. I think it's appropriate to have you know. Come to my dance studio. Come to this shop. Come and eat some food at this place. That is appropriate. Like that. That would happen, right? Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, and yeah, so again, just kind of going around with the purple. Love the purple. And I love that green, it's so nice. Woo! Love that green. I'm gonna yawn again. Oh my god. <laughs> so sorry. I'm so, I'm genuinely quite embarrassed about the amount of yawning that I can do. It's a beautiful thing. Um, so yeah, I just added these pictures in. All these pictures uh, you can get by using the show hidden objects cheat um, and then just go on like all items or decorations or whatever and they all come up um, and there's loads of different ones. So very, very cool. It's just the pictures that you can get by looking through the telescope or doing like your sim, doing like art and stuff. It's all that. Actually, do you get that? I don't think you do actually get the art ones. Um, which is annoying because a lot of the paintings that Sims do are actually really nice, so that's rude. However, I understand, you know, it's understandable. Um, so outside I wanted to do something because it just, it's very boring and plain. And I was like, let's have a bench along this wall. Um, but none of the benches looked good enough for my liking. Uh, oh yeah, and I added these little, like, rock seats. They're from the, um... Is it Go Outdoors? Expansion pack, you know, the camping one. Um, they're very cool and I've never used them, so I was like, now is the time. And then I found these benches, or are they tables? I can't actually remember, but um, I think I think they're to sit on. Maybe not, I don't know. Um, yeah, no, they must be to sit on. And um, I just put one little bamboo thing on the end, just because I think it makes it, it kind of, in my eyes, it's like a bench that has just like, a plant coming through it and it's kind of like modern and funky like I imagine that that's something that would happen in today's world you know um and then I tried to figure out the back patio um again I kind of I do wish I did this on a bigger plot just because I think the back garden could be so nice and you could have it so big and like you could have people doing meditation out there but this is I think in essence more of a town con 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 concrete jungle type vibe I'm going for in New Crest so that's that's that kind of justifies it a little bit but I still think it would make it like so much nicer if I could have um just like so much like space and woodland and have like paths and like benches and stuff and get a cheeky barbecue out there maybe that would be just really nice I think that would that would just make it for me you know so um yeah this we are actually coming up towards the end of the video, guys. Not to, um, you know, not to make this so sad. It's been such a good little mini series. I've really enjoyed. I even though it took me a long time to do this build, I genuinely had a really good time doing it. I think just because there's so many new um, items and stuff, I was just like having a wild, wild time. It's really, really nice. Um, really, really good stuff pack. So, what was it? No, it's a game pack. <laughs> It's so different, um, but yeah, I, I'm really, really happy with this expansion pack. It's definitely my favourite one so far. Um, and yeah, we are coming up to the screenshots in a minute. Something I always forget to say, if you guys have any requests or anything that you want me to build, let me know in the comments, um, and I will gladly do them if I think I can do it properly and well. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you like. Uh, I always want to read your guys', your guys comments. I They literally make me so happy. Um, and yes, I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Um, see you guys next time. Don't forget to leave requests. I love it. I literally, I live for it. I think it's so, 
so much fun like, like building stuff you guys are just I really really like it all right so I will see you guys next time thank you for watching I love you goodbye my friends goodbye